Red Cross plays a pivotal role when fire officials order evacuations. They've certainly been busy with several fires forcing folks from their homes across the region last week. As fire danger remains high through the upcoming summer months, they say the need for volunteers is growing. KRDO News Channel 13's Cindy Santafonte joins us live in our studio with how people can get involved to help their community. Cindy. Sydney, volunteers for the American Red Cross play a vital role, just as you said, for people affected by natural disasters, like the wildfires that we're seeing across the state right now. But in order to keep that organization running strong to provide that support to people affected, they need volunteers. The need is enormous. That's how the American Red Cross describes the critical need for volunteers. Besides first responders, the organization is typically among the first on scene to large scale natural disasters that often displaces families. They can be an overnight experience or we can look at months of need for volunteers. Right now, the American Red Cross has boots on the ground in Teller County, responding to the High Park fire that has forced the evacuation of hundreds of homes. Katie Ballinger, a spokeswoman for the agency, tells KRDO dozens of volunteers have devoted their time to help run the evacuation shelter. Without those volunteers, it would have been a challenge to help all the families in need. A reason she says there is currently a call to action for more volunteers as wildfire season ramps up. We have to be prepared all year for whatever is going to be thrown at us. So um, we we are just in a perpetual state of preparedness and response. And as you can imagine, um, th that really means that we do need more people. Ballinger says they will accept all people who want to volunteer, no matter their experience level. Training is offered, and even if someone can't devote their full time, there are still options to do virtual volunteerism work with the Red Cross. You can always do the training and um, that way you're ready at a moment's notice and you can always decide that it's not right, right for you right now. But if you get that training ahead of time, it's completely under your control. Now, this kind of humanitarian work sounds like something you would be interested in. I have all the details on our website of how you can turn your compassion into action. Live from the studio, I'm Cindy Santafonte for KRDO News Channel 13.